You see this little guy? This is a termite. Now, most people go the other direction when they see termites, and they're trying to get rid of them all the time. But actually in biology and in science, they're a really fascinating creature. And several years ago, the amazing biology teachers here at the school where I teach said that they could train the termites to do things. And I said, what? You can train termites? He said, yeah, come on in and we'll show you. So I'm going to show you what they showed me about these amazing critters that get such a bad rap called termites. Let's check them out. Okay, before we get to the training, let's really talk about how cool termites are. Now I get it. They chew up a lot of people's homes, so people don't tend to care for them much. But they're pretty fascinating in the sense that, like ants and bees and wasps, they have a very hierarchical system. So what we're looking at here is a worker. We're going to focus on the worker termites. Now let's get to the training phase. To train your termites, all you need are some pens. This is a good exercise in the scientific method. I've got a whole pile of different pens here. But we don't really know which pens are going to work to train the termites. In fact, we don't even really know what the termites are going to do at this point. So I'm drawing some lines with various pens on white paper. Really, just to see what will happen. Because again, in science, we don't always know. So I take my termite and put it on the paper and watch. Now what I'm supposed to see is this. This is what they said would happen. They said my termite, wait a minute. I thought my termite was supposed to follow that pen line. Um, maybe this experiment doesn't work out quite as well as I had thought. So here's what they told me. They said you make some lines on the paper and it's possible that the termite will follow the lines. In fact, you can get, oh, wait a minute. What do we have here? Our little worker termite seems to be following one of the lines. Uh, that looks like a black pen line. I wonder what it'll do when it gets to the end. Oh, oh. Well, it's fallen off track. But for some reason, we saw it there for a minute. That termite followed that line. So maybe it's the color. And now, wait a minute. Now our little termite has found a red line. And look, it's following that line. It's staying right on course. So maybe it really is possible to train your termites. It gets to the end. And it seems to be lost again. Oh, right back on the red line. There's something very interesting going on here. Now, it may seem simple, the fact that a termite is following a line. But there's something way more way more fascinating going on. I mean, here's the thing. We could say that, well, it's going to follow these different colors. But termites don't have eyes. At least not this species of termite and not the worker termite. It doesn't have eyes. Instead, it has those antennae up there at the top. You can see them briefly here coming in and out as I'm trying to focus in on the head of the termite. It has those antennae. And those antennae actually pick up something called pheromones. And when termites find new sources of food, they leave pheromones behind so other termites can follow them. And as it turns out, a lot of the pens that we use on a daily basis have a chemical in them called 2-phenoxyethanol, which is the same as the pheromones that are left behind by the termites. So can you train your termites? Well, absolutely. I'm only giving you a little taste of it here so you don't have to watch a termite walk around on my paper all day. The whole idea is this. Go and find some termites, dig around in the dirt, and try out some pens and see for yourself which ones work and which ones don't. Now, I completely understand why most people don't care much for termites. You see that little critter there? Look what they do to wood. And especially if you live in a wood structure, they can decimate it entirely. But at the same time, they're pretty fascinating when it comes to biology and the pheromones that they leave behind. And the other fascinating thing is that humans are making something very similar to the pheromones that termites leave behind. Only it's in our pens. 
and it makes it pretty fun to look at that interplay between chemistry and biology and to learn more. And if you're interested in learning more, I got stuff all around here. Come and check it out. Come and visit me at BealScience.com and keep on learning.